even more of a bunker mentality in right-wing media. And ultimately, that's not good for the country. No, it's it's not good. It's a threat to democracy um, that these people are in echo chambers and they're getting fed a diet of lies, essentially. Uh, Brian lies. Stelter. That's, that's what it is. Thanks. All right, folks, welcome back. That was a little Brian Stelter over there on CNN saying it's dangerous for conservatives to leave the censorship of Facebook and Twitter. Where are Americans who treasure free speech? Where are they going when they're leaving? Me, we, and Parler are the prime destinations after Facebook and Twitter crack down on conservative groups like Stop the Steal. For more on this, we're joined by CEO of Me, We, Mark Weinstein. Thank you so much for taking the time, sir. And before we get into the censorship of Facebook and Twitter, tell us a little bit about MeWe. What is it that sets you guys apart from the other social platforms out there? So, um, first of all, you know, that clip really is kind of scary to look at, right? Um, because MeWe is the, the social network with all the features people love, but none of Facebook's BS. And that's what I call it, the BS. You know, what's a threat to American democracy and democracies worldwide is anybody paying money to Facebook to target you and manipulate your thoughts, your purchase decisions, your political opinions. That's the threat to democracy. You know, censorship, Facebook censorship because of their political opinions, that's the threat to democracy. So can't happen on me. Very simple. Nobody. Well, no, wait, can well, well, no, wait a minute. I, I, yeah. Yeah, you brought up you brought up Brian Stelter, so I might as well just bring him back into the conversation, because here he is saying it's dangerous for democracy to leave Facebook and Twitter. Seems to me they just they just they just don't want we conservatives not playing by their rules anymore. I don't think they want anybody playing by their rules. It's it's kind of confusing, right? They sir, they've censored conservatives. They've thrown what hundreds of thousands of conservative groups off the platform. We also know that they've done that to other people as well. Um, it seems to be that their executives, whatever political philosophy they have, is how they run their algorithms. That's dangerous to democracy. Listen, we know that Facebook is interfering with democracies worldwide with freedom of speech. When Mark Zuckerberg said, was it last January, he said, Facebook is a bastion of freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Is that the most absurd proposition <laughs> in the world when they are curating what and how you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think it is. I, I couldn't keep a straight face when you said that. Nobody believes Mr. Zuckerberg. And a lot of people are blaming he and, and Jack Dorsey over at Twitter for the suppression of conservative thought during the election, which uh, I think that's why you're seeing this, this mass exodus. What do you think about when you see Facebook shut down these groups like Stop the Steal, when you see Twitter censoring the president of the United States, but they don't censor radicalized Islamic fundamentalist terrorists who are calling for the death of Jews in Israel? What is, what is with the double standard? Is left-wing ideology the governing principle of Facebook and Twitter? Chris, I don't understand what their governing ideology is. What I can tell you is, MeWe, I always say MeWe is for the good guys. MeWe is all about common sense. It doesn't matter what the title of your group is or, you know, when you come to MeWe. What matters is, do you just follow our simple rules? Don't incite violence against other people. Don't promote hate. Don't bully. You know, uh, don't incite violence. And don't break the law. How, how simple is that? You know, but for Facebook, it seems like, you know, whatever the title of the group is, then they decide, okay, you're out. That doesn't make any sense, right? That doesn't make any sense. The fundamental rule of democracy in, here in our republic is, you know, we argue, we disagree. That's the whole premise. So why would they kick people out and, you know, try and make it so that it's one point of view? That doesn't make any sense. And remember, that's whether it's about a diet or a medical treatment or a political point of view or a religious point of view. Why are they doing this? I can't answer that question. I don't understand Mark Zuckerberg. I do know that he's violated our privacy for many years. And fortunately, the media now has told everybody the truth about the creep looking over our shoulder called Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. And they do. They no longer, in my opinion, they don't deserve uh, that 230 protection that MeWe does deserve because you guys are a forum. You don't censor. You guys don't edit. Neither does uh, parlor. So uh, am I fair in saying, I've only got about 30 seconds left before we got to scoot, but uh, am I fair in saying that you guys are the, MeWe is the alternative to Facebook? 
we are the new mainstream. Look, we got to just get Facebook out. MeWe is the new mainstream social done right. Come on over, everybody, right. and enjoy social the way it's supposed to be. Amen to that. Mr. Weinstein, I appreciate you carving out time for the Salcedo Show. We'll talk again, sir. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.